Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Kathy Grant, City of Lodi Watershed Program Coordinator, and this, today we have Michelle Workman from East Bay Mud. She's the Manager of Fisheries and Wildlife. What are we going to do today, Michelle? Well, we're here at the McCallamy River Hatchery, and this is where the McCallamy River Chinook Salmon begins and ends its life. So let's go take a look and see what they're doing. The McCallamy River Hatchery was built in the 1960s, along with the building of Comanche Dam. It was built to mitigate or make up for the lost habitat that was blocked when Comanche Dam was built. The facility is owned by East Bay Mud because we are responsible for blocking passage for fish, but it's operated by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife through a long-term cooperative agreement between the two agencies to make sure we're all working together to sustain the fish population. Part of the mission statement for East Bay Mud is to protect and be good stewards of the natural resources in which we're entrusted, and we take that very seriously. The McCollamy River is home to a fall run of Chinook salmon. And what that means is, in the fall, October, November, salmon come up into the McCollamy River from the ocean to complete their life cycle. They come into the river and some fish spawn in the river but others are guided into the hatchery by a fish ladder. They're able to make it up the fish ladder into the hatchery building where workers from the Department of Fish and Wildlife crowd them into the building. Once in the building, they can separate males and females for processing. And how they process them is to take the eggs from the female and take the milt from the male and combine those to fertilize the eggs. Once they've fertilized the eggs, they put them in an iodine bath to disinfect them to make sure that they have the best chance of survival. And then they're put up in egg stacks or egg jars to incubate. And there we wait for the juvenile fish to come out. So when a salmon hatches from its eggs, the cool thing about it is, we like to say their mom packs a lunch for them. So when they hatch, they have a yolk sac attached to their body. They're called alvin, And so they don't need to eat like you or I. They have their lunch attached to their belly. So for a little bit of time, they're able to just get nutrients from that yolk sac and they won't actually start eating food until they've completely absorbed that. So in the river, they would stay under the gravel in their nest while they absorb that yolk sac because they're protected from predators and other dangers in the river while they're still absorbing that yolk sac and growing. Once they're, they've eaten the whole yolk sac and they're bigger, then they swim up out of the gravel and then they start looking for bugs to eat. Oh, interesting. And so they'll stay in the river for a few months while they size up a little bit and then start moving downstream. Yes, yes, so salmon in the river, fall run in the McCollamy River, only stay in the river during the first spring of their life. So if they hatch out in April, they might stay as late as June, but that's about it. But fish are leaving the whole time. So some of them choose to leave and go into the ocean as fry or very small fish. Some of them stay in the river and eat and get big and they don't go to the ocean until they're smolt. Wow. So they, they are leaving all the whole time from January through June. They're always leaving the system. When a fish is spawning in the river, what we see is it's very easy for us as biologists to find a red because the female does a great job of cleaning the gravel in the river. The female will find a place that she thinks is a good place to build a nest. It has good water depth, it has good speed of water or velocity, mm -hmm. so that keeps oxygen flowing over the eggs. And then she will turn her body sideways and slap her tail against those rocks. And when she does that, that cleans off all the little tiny bits and particles off of that rock. It cleans them all up. And then she'll move the bigger rocks out of the center, lay her eggs, have them fertilized by a male, and then she'll cover that mound back up. That protects those eggs when we talked about how they are gonna be protected by that gravel environment. And then she'll stay and protect that nest until she ends her life protecting her babies until they hatch. 
So if you're able to come to the McCollumy River, there's lots of really cool things going on here that you might see. You might see us spawning fish. Um, you might also see we have people come from different facilities to collect the heads of those fish we've already spawned. So when these fish are little in the hatchery, they're given a tag in their snout. And when they come back as adults, we can remove that tag and we can find out how old that fish was, where it was released, when it was released, and then we'll know where it came back to. And that helps us to learn better ways to release the fish, to get them to go where we want them to go. You might actually also even get to see the biggest fish of the season, which we were lucky enough to do on this day. And we got a 35 pound salmon at the McCollumy River on this day. Thank you everyone for joining us today on this virtual tour of the McCollumy River Fish Hatchery, which is a jewel of the McCollumy River. I hope you do uh, come sometime with your family. This is a COVID year, so it is not open to the public. Uh, but normally it is open uh, most days, seven days a week, unless it's a Christmas or a New Year's holiday. It's a beautiful place and we hope you come and learn more about the salmon and um, the world that they live in, start in and end in. And um, thank you for joining us.